Hey guys, my name is Nevin George and I am one of the founders of Veen Studios. Today in this exciting tutorial, we will learn how to change a black and white photo into a colored photo. We also go through some other techniques, so without further ado, let's get into Photoshop. The first thing you want to do is get a black and white image. This is the image that I'm going to be working with. You don't have to use the same image, but you could, if you go on Google, you could probably find the same thing. Or if you don't want to, you can just use one of your own images. The next thing we're going to do is go to File, New, and we're going to create a new document. We're going to use the default Photoshop size so you don't need to play around with the settings. There's a preset already made for you. You can change the name, but I'm going to leave it as called Untitled One. The next thing we're going to do is drag this image into this document. So grab this tool, press V if you want to as a shortcut, and go onto this document and just simply drag it across. So now we have the image into this document. So we don't need this anymore, so we can close that out. Just get it to where you want it to be. And then when you're satisfied with it, we can duplicate this layer. So you're going to hit right click, duplicate layer. And we're going to call this layer as color. Now, the second thing we're going to be doing is changing the layer style or the layer mode into color as well. This allows Photoshop to color over the image's details instead of just coloring above the or over the details. So, now let's just grab our brush and set it to a uh, a color that we want to start coloring with. I think I'm going to start coloring the hood of the car first. And I'm thinking maybe of a, a greenish color would do. So, if you guys want to use the same color, it's 66E060. Alright, so now I'm using a, a welcome tablet, so it's making it easier for me to color around. But you guys could do the same thing pretty much with a mouse. So, I'm just going to go ahead and color this around. Oh, by the way, uh, for the brush size, you can select the brush tool that is right here. And if you see on the top, there's a couple of modes here. You could go all the way down and find the airbrush soft round 50% flow. That's the brush I'm using. And just set it to whatever size you want it to. So, here we go. Let's start coloring. You can see that Photoshop is coloring underneath or not covering the details of the car. How's that? just go around. Nothing needs to be perfect. I mean, we can just clean this stuff up later on. And if you want to lower or increase your brush size while you're working without having to go over here and changing it, you can press the bracket tool. The left bracket would uh, decrease and the right bracket tool would increase. So just keep that in mind. It can probably help you around when you're working in Photoshop. So I'm just going to zoom in and just color the hood or the top of the car rather all right once with your once when you're done with the first color you can start going on and moving on to your second color and for the second part i might start coloring maybe the grill of the car right around here i'm thinking maybe a gray bluish color. So for this color I'm going to use BBDEF9.
And now just move down to where the grill is. And I'm just going to increase my brush size and start coloring again. I'm going to zoom in, color this as well. I'm also going to color this the blue as well. May go, maybe go around the, the headlights as well. Alright, once you start, when you're finished um, coloring the blue, you can move on to your next color. And I'm going to color in the headlights this time. So let's pick out a yellowish color. I'm going to choose FFFED4. Looks like a nice color. Hit OK. Let's zoom in onto these headlights. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said before, we can just fix it up later on if we wanted to. Just use the eraser tool. I think I'm going to color these yellow as well. Right, the car's looking good. Hmm, maybe I should color these blue as well. Get out the brush. Whoa, losing my mind today. And I'm going to go in and color these blue as well. Alright, so everything look is looking good. So, I see some green spots over here. So, maybe this is the time it, that we're going to start cleaning up. I think this is about the right time. So let's just go and uh, clean this stuff up. Just look for some edges that you might have missed or went over. Not so bad. Alright, so once you're satisfied with the coloring, you can see that we have gone a long way already. Just turn off this layer, and that's what it was before. So, we're almost done. But, uh, I'm not really happy with this license plate. So, you know what? I'm just going to take it out. So, we're going to create a new layer. And use the eyedropper tool. And select a color. Just grab a color from there. And then take the brush tool and we're going to brush right over it. Zoom in a little. 